we're living in a moment in time that when the historians are writing about it, they're going to say, wow, what a moment. And so a lot of artists are making songs that reflect the emotions and the happenings that are going on right now. My success is a threat and my expectations uh -huh. are met. You say that you serve uh -huh. and protect, but you got your knee uh -huh. on my neck. Yeah. You point your guns at our head. It's only fear, no uh -huh. respect. We ain't even safe in our home. They'll gun us down in our bed. For the Driving While Black soundtrack, I wanted to make sure I included young, socially conscious artists whose music was speaking out for social change. I'm just watching television and I just see all these images of uh, police brutality and black people being killed, specifically the incident with uh, George Floyd and shortly after that learning about Breonna Taylor. And I felt like the best way that I could make impact is through my art. So that's where uh, the inspiration for the song Home came from. Black man, black man, future plans, future plans. And my mama want me to make it home. She just want her only son to make it home. Yeah, uh-huh. My old boss from Sony Music, John Berger, reached out to me and told me about a friend of his named Brian Kane he was producing a soundtrack to a PBS documentary called Driving While Black and asked me if I would be interested in helping work on it. And of course I jumped at the chance. Just a great opportunity to work with a project that is so necessary right now. Hello. Hi daddy. What you doing? Nothing. You in bed yet? Yes. Alright, well don't let your mama take you until I get there, alright? Promise. Yeah, I promise. I love you. I love you too. All right, let's vibe. Can't you see that my hands up, so please don't shoot. Hands up, so please don't shoot. Don't shoot. Can't you see that my hands up, so please don't shoot. Everybody knows that I've been in the music industry a long time. And so, you know, they think about me um, if there is an artist that they feel, is, you know, just needs a shot. One of the artists on the soundtrack, Jermaine Love Songs, I found him, he's in, from Tulsa, Oklahoma. My focus of the video was not about the hate, the anger that everyone feels. It's more about the relation, the relation that we all have in common as Americans or just as people, as God's people. We all have a family that we want to make it home to. I focused on the relation so we can take away the excuse of saying, I can't relate to what you go to because I'm white and you're black. So what you can relate to is losing your father, losing a son or a brother or uncle or whatever that male may be. Johnny being on the project uh, is really a nice addition to remember this horrible uh, incident that happened in history in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Being black and being from Tulsa and just knowing, you know, the history and what we once had on Black Wall Street and what we are working towards to have again. I'm just trying to make it home tonight. I'm trying to make it back home tonight. Yeah. Just trying to make it back home tonight. I'm trying to make it back home. Yeah. I what a good die. Can't even make it out the hood without a homicide. I hate to turn it on the news and see a mother's cry. Her little son, another victim. You done took his life. Can't even walk to the stove. Racism is an American tragedy. But in order for things to change, white people have to step up. I think Johnny Daniels was a little surprised to find out that it was a white guy scoring the music to the Driving While Black soundtrack. <laughs> Actually, I was surprised that it was a white guy, but you know, it just, that makes it even more of a powerful statement to know that it's not an African-American man that's composing the soundtrack. It, it, it lets us know that we do have support in the white community. Hold on, 